Today in Houdini, we're going to be discussing attributes. Uh, what are they and why do we actually care? Uh, these are just a few of them. There are a, a few more, but these are the important ones. Uh, first off is integer, which is a whole number. So 1, 5, 5,000. Floats are decimal point values. Vectors are groups of 3, or sometimes 4. Uh, float values, which represent usually point position, or normals, or stuff like that, or direction. Uh, string is usually some text or characters, so it'll represent things like the names of pieces or file paths or paths or things like that. Matrix 3 and Matrix 4 have to do with position in 3D space and rotation. So Matrix 3 and Matrix 4 is the complete 4x4 four four matrix that represents point position, rotation, scale, shear, uh, and all of that where matrix 3 only represents scale orientation and shear. So those are some of the attributes that uh, you really need to know. The next thing you want to know is how to read attributes. So if you middle click here on any any uh, node in Houdini, it's going to give you a readout. But if you hover over and click I, it's just going to give you a floating window of exactly what this attribute contains, well, what this node contains at this specific point. So it's going to give you a whole bunch of information about the names, where, where it is in the scene, and all that kind of stuff. But what we care about is the readouts of points and the attributes here. Okay, So here are the points. It gives you the amount of points, the amount of primitives, the amount of vertex. Next, you've got uh, bounding box information. So this is the centroid, or the center of the bounding box. Uh, if you just have a look here, so here we've got this pig head. And then we've got, if we drop a bound down, it's going to draw a bounding box around it, which is essentially what we were talking about here. And we've got the centroid of this bounding box for this piece of geometry, which is the center. We've got min in x, y, and z, max position in x, y, and z of this bounding box. And then the size, which is the distance between here and x, here and y, or in z, and here and y. Okay? Or here and x, here and z, and here and y. Next, we have a readout of all the attributes. So here, if you have uh, a bunch more attributes, right now we've got P only on the points, and then UV on the vertex. And you can see here, this is three floats, which uh, basically means a vector, and vertex, which is also three floats, which is also a vector. Um, then you've got group, group information, which will tell you the name of the group and the amount of either points or primitives, depending on what group that you have inside. Uh, there's a little comment section, time dependence, uh, some readouts for optimization, things like uh, the memory it used, how long it took to cook, when it was made, and all that kind of stuff. So let me just delete these groups here, so you can see there's no groups, so we're just dealing with uh, position. Here we've made an attribute called rest, and we're going to make it in four different ways, because these, in my opinion, are the four different ways you can make attributes in Houdini. So rest is basically just uh, the point position at a specific frame. So here we've made rest using a uh, just a, a normal SOP which uh, generates rest for you. Then you can use uh, attribute create to create attributes. Uh, you can use type rest and you give it a value here. You can generate attributes in vex using a wrangle. So we just said the vector of rest is equal to uh, point position or you can do it with Vopsop, saying point position is equal to a vector called rest, and we export that. Cool, so those are four ways you can generate attributes in Houdini. And you can see they're all the same. If I select all of them, you can note that the rest is exactly the same. It's not changing or anything like that. Well, that's attributes, and that's how you create them. Now, why should we care? Well, attributes are basically used to generate everything in Houdini. They, uh, you can generate your point positions, you can move geometry, you can add color, you can generate temperature and density fields. Everything is basically an attribute that is calculated by the SOPs and uh, outputs a result. Uh, you can manipulate the attributes as much as you want. And what's cool about them is the attributes, when you put them on the geometry, come with the geometry. Well, thanks, guys. That's attributes and why we should care about them in Houdini. I've got a bunch more videos coming up uh, where I'm going to explain a whole bunch of things, uh, everything related to VFX in Houdini specifically at the moment. Hit the like button if you liked it, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe and get notifications every time I release a video. Um, thanks, see you later!